Sagittarius, Sagittarius Rising, and Sagittarius Moon people, this is your weekly astrological and card horoscope for the week starting August 7th, 2017. And just a quick reminder for all you Sagittarius folks out there, remember these horoscopes are meant to be, um, you know, the, the flavor of the week, okay? I know there's a lot going on in August, and there's eclipses, there's retrogrades, there's all kinds of things like that. And I do cover a lot of that in the monthly astrology horoscopes, and I don't want to copy and paste them. Um, you know, make sure that you check your monthly astrology. Those are that's on a playlist of its very own on the main channel page, and that way we can kind of always get more information instead of the same information. Okay. And a quick reminder as well: if you ever want to get a session with me, you can always follow the links below or go to integrativemysticism.com. So, what is going on with your astrology this week, anyhow? Well. This week, um, this week's special flavor, I guess you could say that's, you know, starts and ends this week, um, it all happens Thursday and Friday. We've got a lovely supportive connection between Venus, planet of love and harmony currently in your 8th house of shared resources, passive income and intimacy, forming a gorgeous sextile to Mercury currently in your 10th house of career. And this looks like it's definitely focusing on the financials, but there may actually be some kind of extra assignment, extra job, or possibly even a bit of a role shift going on at the office uh, this week that may actually be something that you can keep for yourself if you're looking for a way to make some extra scratch. This could also actually turn into a new opportunity for you to segue if you're tired of the work that you're doing now, if you want to work in a different position, do a different role at the office, we may actually get to do that for a while this week to get the leverage we need to make the negotiation of how well we would do it if we were able to do it the whole time. We also have the sun in Leo in your ninth house of shares of uh, ninth house of excuse me, travel, government legal proceedings, as well as your academic life, your spiritual life, and broadcasting, forming a lovely sextile to Jupiter currently in your eleventh house of friendships and social networking. And this can be a really good angle for those of you who are looking to do some kind of broadcasting, sort of an advertising campaign, uh, promote a business or a service that you're providing. Um, if you're trying to get maybe a web-based business or some kind of maybe a page off the ground, maybe your business needs a new website, uh, maybe you're trying to work uh, the kind of mojo where you can make some business connections abroad, this is going to start bringing those people in to you. This could also even bring an opportunity to reconnect with a friend or possibly an old friend or even an old group that we haven't seen for a while because of distance and proximity. There may be somebody coming back into town this week. So what is going on with your cards? <clears throat> well, for your spiritual advice, we do have the card of the boar. All right, and the boar talks about a need to pay attention to where, you know, sometimes you do need to charge ahead and not look back. And, you know, when we think about passing the baton, we think about relay races and things like that. Um, we talk about just simply running on any kind of track that, you know, looking back slows you down. And with the boar, you know, the boar is known for being heedless. It's a crashing, wild, you know, locomotive kind of animal. And when we think about the boar, you know, crashing through to, you know, to get what it wants, whether it's to get towards something or get away from something, you know, it's aiming forward. It's, you know, it's allowing itself to actually have its focus be on what's coming next. And this week could prevent some, you know, or not prevent, but present some interesting challenges, however, um, because you may be tempted to constantly look back, whether it's looking back at people to see if they're coming with you, um, if you, you know, if, you know, if you're getting far enough away, constantly seeing how much distance we've made, maybe doing too much of taking stock. Uh, the boar card can also indicate a need to pay attention to when it's, you know, eventually, if you're going to get ahead, you may be getting ahead alone in some cases, um, and this may prove to be a bit of a challenge when it comes to, say, dealing with friends, relatives, and colleagues, who may, you know, you wish could or would keep up with you, but it may not be their path to take, even though, try as you may, to motivate them, they may have something else to do. For your Earth sector, when it comes to your work and finances, we do have the Knight of Swords reversed. And when we look at the Knight of Swords reversed, you know, there could be some clashes going on at the office this week, some personality clashes. What the Knight of Swords reversed can often show up as is somebody who is doing a lot of complaining, doing a lot of acting out, but they're not making any sense. 
Um, you know, usually the Knight of Swords reversed, people get more worked up because they can't articulate themselves. No one can understand them because they're not making sense, and they're getting more upset about the fact that they're being misunderstood, and it can turn into a vicious cycle. Now, with the Knight of Swords reversed, this could come in the form of a, a policy that doesn't make any sense. Um, you know, and this may be what motivates you to consider shifting your roles. This could be a client or a customer. Um, financially, we may actually have to make sure to pay attention to things that we could have on some kind of automatic payment, something that we're used to seeing go out. Something may shift this week, and, you know, it, it, is, it, it shouldn't be coming out of your account. And I think that this week you might want to actually just go have a quick look and see uh, what is being done in error or altered in error uh, without any notification. If it's not money coming out, again, it could be a policy shift, but whatever it is, it's not broadcast well, it's not articulated well, and whoever's doing it is also doing a piss-poor job of, of communicating the issue. For your communications with air, when it comes to your friends, your relatives, and the others in your life, we do the Six of Pentacles upright, and uh, this could actually be a really good uh, bit of news for a lot of you out there who have been trying to maybe uh, recruit some kind of help or some kind of favor um, from friends or from relatives. You know, maybe we need some help when it comes to uh, a situation where we are, maybe we're leaving town, we need a house sitter. Uh, maybe we've been having a hard time, you know, getting people to help us with a certain big task that is too big for us to handle on our own. The Six of Pentacles can indicate a yes answer coming from one of these people. Um, this could also be news simply coming in the mail um, about an approval or, again, an authorization that you need. Maybe you've been trying to qualify for a big purchase, a venture capital, a mortgage, or you maybe put in some kind of request um, to, you know, to, to an official um, organization of some kind, and we're kind of hoping to see if they're going to give us clearance or, or do what we need them to do. And the answer is yes. And there's going to, you know, so if we've been waiting to hear back, will I get in? Will this be okay? Will this be ratified? Will this be acceptable? The Six of Pentacles says somebody's going to be taking a chance on you, and it does go in your favor. For your challenge this week with fire, we do have the Wheel of Fortune upright. Knowing when to leave well enough alone. You know, the Wheel of Fortune upright... Um, is all about understanding that sometimes we need to take our hands off of something so it actually does start, you know, again, picking up the pace with its development, with, you know, we can't always have something in the shop. You do need to take a car for a test drive. You know, you do need to see how things are really working. And with the Wheel of Fortune upright, it's basically saying, are we trusting things to behave and do what they're going to do on their own? It can be seen as a card of surrender. And, you know, the tarot has some cards for surrender. When this card is upright, it's basically saying things are better without your active involvement in a lot of cases here. Um, and Sagittarius, you're, pretty, you're a pretty laid-back group of people. You know, you, you, you do respect the fact that some things got to be left to, ha be hap to happen their own way. So there could be a challenge this week with the Wheel of Fortune. Maybe we're getting a pressure from other people to get involved where we shouldn't, where, we need to, where we're being more hands-on than we should, where it seems like we're interfering as opposed to helping. And so make sure this week that we understand the surrender that comes from that, taking a chance and actually getting rewarded there. Obviously, don't do anything too risky. Use discretion, but you know what I'm saying. For your emotions with water and your romantic life, we do have the Eight of Cups upright. And a lot of you single, um, a lot of you single Sagittarius people out there may actually find somebody very compelling that we do need to make the effort to see. Um, and this could be a situation where this person lives at a distance. Um, this could be uh, maybe a, a short distance away. This could be a farther distance away. The Eight of Cups upright could also indicate some of you who've been maybe casually dating may actually walk away from somebody who's been around, but it doesn't seem like it's going any further. You may actually get your, your choice. You know, you get your, get your proof this week if you had those suspicions. You may be walking away to a better prospect. Usually the Eight of Cups upright says we are leaving one thing because we are going towards something else. We're not just wandering off into, into the unknown. For those of you who are currently coupled, the Eight of Cups Upright says your partner may be actually leaving something behind this week um, that is ultimately for the best for their development. You may actually be very happy to find out, you know, he or she may be quitting a job that we know is no good for them. Um, if we're not living together, we may be finding out they're, li they're moving out of a bad neighborhood, um, or they're walking away from maybe even a difficult or toxic friendship. But we do see some freedom. 
um, opening up here for them. And actually, you know, again, this is actually a big, big growth move for their development. So make sure to be encouraging. So that is your horoscope, Sagittarius. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And of course, if you ever want to get a session with me, you can always follow the links below or go to integrativemysticism.com. Thank you.